Hello, in this one I'm gonna make a series on how I'm trying to approach a hard maps in Season 5 of the Frost Strike build. At the same time, I'm gonna try to give as many advice as I can. So, the first one would be, as soon as you create Charta, you go into Rune Hunter Registration Office, pick up Movement Speed, that is Elisa Blessing, and you pick up Item Drop Rarity, plus double chance on Disassemble. I think this is the best thing you can do, and you can forget about it for the rest of the of the game that you're gonna play. Other than that, I always like to buy Leap Attack and Roll, pick up Disarm, and what I focus the most early is just as much as XP that as I can. So I pick up Quick Attack, after that I'm looking for some Cold Damage, cause I'm a, on the Frost Wave build, and then in season in Act 2, I'm looking for confidence. At the same time, in Act 2, you can go into Ore Shop and buy Run Birth Essences for your first 6 link. It's not gonna be enough to roll it in Act 2, but in like Act 5, when you clear enough stages and pick up Gems of Courages, it should be pretty easy to do it. It's only 750 for first speed, so it shouldn't be hard. Other than that, I was in Act 5, it took me around an hour and a half, but I was running a really good boots, a really good unique boots. Straight into Act 10. Because after Act 10, there is a lot of things I want to talk about. And the first thing is gonna be Charms and basically Chaos Star. So you get your tier 3 Charm selection box. And in my case, I picked up Miraceti, and it just depends on what type of damage you do. Because Miraceti is a cold damage and it works really well for Frost, frost Wave. At the same time, uh, Sometimes I look if I get any good charms, but in this case I had pretty good charms already equipped So my only problem was to get a tier 3 chaos star as you can see it's pretty easy I just put up every single charm checked it twice if I don't use two good charms After that What comes next is you want to do every single green quest in Saluto after you finish Act 10 there is plenty of those you're gonna get a little bit of free XP and the most important one is the Relic one, as Relic early can be a really huge damage spike. There are some, this quest line is a little bit weird cause after a single time you talk with them, you need to check your Relic UI basically, to get a new quest. Of course in my case I had my Relic levels pretty high, but when you start early, another advice is that after you pick up your Relic, you really want to do all the alta altars of blessing events on the maps because that's where most of the relic xp is gonna come from In my If you're looking what relics to pick up, you need definitely check the guide after that. It's act 11 land of authority It was I mean all the bosses for me is not that difficult actually it's for most of the time I'm actually not even focusing that much on damage as I'm focusing on defense when I'm playing hardcore because damage wise if you have your skill board set set correctly you only need like a half decent weapon craft and you're gonna be good this is basically what they crafted after act 11 it's nothing crazy just attack damage gear critical rate and affix tiers are not that even high plus speed on the prefix and attack damage on the prefix it's like nothing too amazing but it was still a good one I, at least I was getting a little bit more damage that's all I needed after that, Act 12 boss basically didn't took too long, was easy to kill, and was, um, I'm not even running Warrior Shadow. With Warrior Shadow I would be doing like twice my damage, but I, I was kind of holding back on my skill board for like most of, most of my campaign run, and basically holding back on my skill board was a big mistake. By holding back I mean I didn't pick up the correct links, like the good really, the good links. Neither had any seals to go on, neither offensive or defensive seals, and that actually cost me a lot. This is Act 13 basically, so at this point I'm like 6 hours, 6.5 hours in. Act 13 is really fast. And this is where the fun begins. This is basically my first map, or like my third map, and they purified the monsters, and I died. And that's where my skill board comes into place. I didn't have a good skill board, and that's why I died. One death wouldn't be that bad, but I actually di died twice. And this was basically the end of my day of one. And what it means is that I had to run uh, another character again. Because two deaths 
there is no reason to play anymore. With one death, you can still do it, but with two deaths, this character is basically dead for sure. And I did a, I did a mechanical mistake in here. I should have just run forward, but I didn't. And uh, that would be it, basically. That was my first day. Of course, on another day, I picked up piercing arrow. I wanted a bow build, because the only thing I cared about in, in my second run is just to run as fast as I can. But about that piercing arrow build that I actually switch into cross lightning arrow later, I'm gonna talk about it in the next video. So thanks for watching on this one and see you guys in the next one.